Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again, and I have something pretty special today. Take a look at this new laptop sent over from HP. It's from their Spectre line, their flagship, of course, and it is in this beautiful slate blue color. We've seen that before in the Dragonfly line. But if you look a little bit closely, you're gonna notice something a little bit different. Yes, it looks like a 12.3 inch laptop, very portable, but it does have a few tricks up its sleeve. Can, this can a traditional laptop do this? Yes, it is a foldable PC, folks. I can bring this down. This is a magnetic keyboard revealing a little bit more screen real estate. And of course, I can use this as a tablet. Yes, a 17 inch tablet to be specific. And as you can see on the back here, there is a kickstand. I'm gonna activate that. And of course, I have a gorgeous, beautiful, massive 17 inch tablet with a really interesting keyboard here that works via Bluetooth. So you can use this in what they call desktop mode. In fact, they're saying this is a world's first three in one where you can use it as a tablet, as a laptop and as a desktop. We're gonna get a look at this and more in this first look review here today on the release day of the HP foldable PC. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the HP Spectre foldable PC brand new for 2023 coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I just wanna let everyone know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP, I'm not being sponsored by HP, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit is on loan from HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Starting today, September 14, 2023, you can pre-order this over at BestBuy.com. The device is expected to be available in limited quantities in October on HP.com. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. Now, keep in mind, the price of this is going to be $49.99.99. Yes, $5,000 at select Best Buy locations. This is not cheap. That is, of course, the price of innovation. Expect that price to go down over time, but this is a new and cutting edge product. So I'm not so surprised by that hefty price tag. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Right off the bat, they give you some very helpful information on the different modes this foldable PC is capable of. We'll get to all that in a little bit, but let's find out what else you get. Now, this is the removable keyboard. This is a Bluetooth keyboard that is going to be very useful, especially when you wanna use it in laptop mode. It has a nice size touchpad on it. Seems pretty good in terms of the tactility. We'll look at that in a little bit. Now, I like the fact that there's an extra USB type A port on the adapter. Now, speaking of that power adapter, 110 watt USB type C, not 65 watts. You get a little bit more juice here, and that's good. Now, this is the adapter that you're gonna use to charge that keyboard. Keep it all charged up, of course. That's always good. That is in the box as well. And I like to see this, they give you a nice hub in the box, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, connects via Type-C, there's the extra Type-C port right there. So nice little touch there, you're gonna need it because this has very few ports on the unit itself. Now they also give you some warranty information, documentation, yada, 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 that's all there in the box. And finally, they give you the pen. Now the pen is a nicely sized pen, very comfortable to hold. It also charges and stores magnetically on the unit itself, we'll get into that later on. And holding the unit for the first time, wow, I am blown away. Now, this is pretty innovative. This is a pretty premium product here. There's no doubt about it. Now, this slate blue color looks absolutely gorgeous. I've seen the slate blue, of course, on some of the Dragonfly PCs we've looked at on that laptop line from the Elite Books and so forth. This is really special, folks. This looks really, really premium. Feels really premium. Very, very well made. Now, that slate blue will collect some fingerprints, of course, so just keep that in mind you will be probably wiping it down quite a bit. Okay, let's get a measurement of that weight. We're looking at 1.325 kilograms or 2.921 pounds just for the unit alone without the keyboard or any of the accessories. And with the keyboard and pen, 1.604 kilograms or 3.536 pounds. 
And with the power adapter and power cord, you're looking at a total travel weight of 2.061 kilograms or 4.543 pounds. Now, as far as the ports and connections, there's one USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 port on the top there and one on the side over there. That's it. There are no other ports. There's no headphone jack on here. So just keep that in mind. You will have to use an adapter if you want to use wired headphones. Now the volume buttons are on the side as well, and there is the power button along with the kill switch for the webcam on the top of the unit. And that's it, folks. And if you need those missing ports, well, they do give you that hub, as I mentioned earlier, in the box. Now, this is a pretty innovative design. In fact, HP is touting this as a three-in-one design. What does that mean? Well, you can use it as a tablet, as you would any other 17-inch tablet. It's pretty amazing and awesome. And then, of course, you can use it in laptop mode. This makes it into a 12.3-inch laptop. And you could also pull the magnetic keyboard forward, giving you more screen real estate. That's pretty interesting. And with that embedded kickstand here, you can also use it in the desktop mode with the Bluetooth keyboard detached. That's really useful. So, very innovative here, three-in-one design. I really like what HP is doing here, pushing the envelope in terms of that design. Okay, let's talk about what I consider the star of the show. That would have to be its 17-inch foldable OLED display. It has an interesting aspect ratio here of 3 to 4 and a 2.5K resolution. That's 2560 by 1920. And it's a foldable OLED. Again, that's a very innovative type of technology. We're not seeing very much of it. Obviously, we're going to see more of it in the future. Now, it's a bright view display. It's got a low blue light filter. Now, standard dynamic range, they're claiming 400 nits of screen brightness. HDR, they're claiming 500 nits of peak brightness. We're going to measure all that in the upcoming full review. It's got excellent coverage of the color gamut. My initial results here show this is an excellent panel. If you're going to do color grading, video editing, and stuff like that, this is certainly a panel that can handle it. It's also extremely color accurate. That's really good. And so far, consuming media on this in high dynamic range content has been superb in Netflix, Amazon, YouTube. I love having that 17 inches of screen real estate here, especially unfolded. You're going to be able to multitask, have multiple panels open. You can watch a movie on one panel. And of course, in another window, you can be checking your emails. You can be surfing the platform formerly known as Twitter. You get the drift. So a lot of multitask features with such screen real estate here. I love that. And then when you want it to be more compact on a seatback, tray in an airplane you could put it into laptop mode making it into a 12.3 inch laptop very portable so you'll be able to get work done in that mode as well so there's a lot of versatility in that regard and like other foldable PCs, this is going to have that crease in the middle, although not as pronounced as other devices, such as the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which is a little bit more pronounced. Here you will feel it if you rub your finger or glide your finger over that crease or with the pen. That definitely is there, but not very noticeable, and I didn't find it too distracting over time. You just get quite used to it, and that's pretty much the way it's been. Now, so far, the pen has been working out really great. It's got the MPP 2.0 technology. It's got 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. Taking notes, sketching an artwork has been really nice on this panel and really responsive. It almost has like a pen to paper feel on it. I think they did a really good job here. And as far as storing and charging it, it does connect magnetically to the front of the unit here. So that is great as far as storing it and charging. That's what we have here. And interestingly enough, it also sticks to the side of the keyboard as well. So you have two places to really store it. That's pretty good. So this is the camera on the HP Spectre foldable PC here for 2023. And I got to say, I am really impressed with the technology here. Uh, pretty awesome device, although very expensive. It is awesome nonetheless. Now, we have an HP TrueVision 5 megapixel camera here. What you're looking at here is 1080p video. This is also an IR camera. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. Uh, setup was easy and worked well. And there's also a shutter switch uh, next to the power button there. And of course, that is great if you need more security and privacy. Nice to have that physical button there. So let me know what you think about the video quality. What do you think about the audio quality? Let me know in the comment section below. A couple of things to note. There are the special effects. This is an HP presence detection camera, so you can do the background blur the auto framing. You could change the background to some of the presets or you can actually add your own. And of course, all the other bells and whistles that HP is known for with their webcams here in 2023. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below.
Well, by now you're probably wondering, how's that keyboard? Well, I can say it's actually pretty good. It's a little bit surprising on how good the tactility and the key travel has been in the limited time that I've been using it. But using it in the laptop mode where you have a 12.3 inch display here actually worked out pretty well. And especially if you're in a cramped space, like in an airplane, as I mentioned, this might work out very well in that regard. Now, as far as typing out long documents, emails so far has been very good. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, there is no backlight on this keyboard. so. Unlike other laptops, more traditional laptops in this high price category, this does not have that. So just keep that in mind. But you do get a really nice spacious touchpad that I thought was very responsive when it comes to scrolling and doing all the gestures. Everything just seemed to work out just as you'd expect. And I love the fact that the magnetic keyboard can be slid down to expose a little bit more screen real estate here. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about performance, and quite interestingly, they're going with the Core i7-1250U. They're not using the latest 13th gen processor from Intel, of course, and that probably owes itself to the fact that this has probably been in development for a few years. The technology is cutting edge, and they needed to be able to use an existing processor to get all the other aspects of it done. So not enough time, basically, I would think, to have a 13th gen processor, or even 14th gen, of course, but I think that's okay. We'll see probably the next iteration, a more modern processor, although there's nothing wrong with the 12th gen processor. We've seen quite a bit of units running that and their performance has been very good in both single and multi-core score. And as you can see from these Geekbench results here, not bad when it comes to both the single and multi-core performance. So that is what we get here. Now, of course, this has the integrated Iris XE graphics. It's not going to blow you away. You're not going to be playing AAA titles on this unit anytime soon, but you can play some of the Windows Store games. You can lower some of the settings on some older titles. You will get playable frame rates. We've seen this CPU combination with that integrated Iris XE graphics many times in the past. I don't need to go over it here. I'll talk more about performance numbers in the upcoming full review, but the initial uh, run here in the first 24 to 48 hours, not bad for a tablet that I didn't have a high expectations as far as doing 4K video editing on. That's just not in the cards for this type of device, but you will get some work done on this productivity in terms of Microsoft Office, email, web browsing. It worked very well on this. Now, as far as the battery is concerned, they were able to put a massive 94.3 watt hour battery into this unit, which is pretty incredible when you think about it, when you see how thin it is and so forth. That's pretty innovative. We'll talk more about that in the full review. But in my initial run here for the PC Mark 10 Modern Office battery test, as an unfolded 17 inch tablet, it did 10 hours and 14 minutes. That's not bad. But when I put it into the laptop mode, 12.3 inches, it did even better, getting closer to 14 hours on a video playback test. Now, of course, that's just the initial benchmarks I ran, so I have a lot more to report in the upcoming full review. Stay tuned. That's going to be coming soon. And of course, this being a media consumption device, you're going to want to have great speakers here. Now, having great speakers is going to be a necessary requirement here, especially when you have such a nice 17-inch display. You want to be able to have the whole experience, especially when it comes to the audio. Well, they don't disappoint you here. A nice, pleasant surprise. Quad speakers here, audio by Bang & Olufsen. I found that the volume was very good, the mids were really good, and there was some bass. Very nicely done here as far as filling up the room rather nicely and getting a really nice audio experience here. Now, of course, there is no headphone jack. As I mentioned earlier, you'll have to use Bluetooth headphones or use a wired headphones via an adapter. So that's just something to keep in mind. But overall, so far, the audio has been great. I'll talk more about that in the upcoming full review. Okay, people, let's bring it all home. My initial impressions are I am blown away by the HP Spectre foldable PC here for 2023. I didn't expect this one. I'm very thankful HP sent me over a unit to have here on the release day. And I gotta say, a lot to like here, a lot of cutting edge technology, a lot of looking at the future here in my opinion, although it might be prohibitively expensive for a lot of you. So I understand that, but keep in mind, this type of technology will filter 
into the different lines of HP. This is just the start, people, and I am blown away. I like the quality of the display. I like the versatility of this unit, and I love those speakers on it. Sounds fantastic. Some of the best speakers I've heard on a Windows device in general. It's been that good. We're going to talk more about performance on that 12th gen U-series processor, as well as battery life, which has been very good so far. We'll talk more about that later. Everything is looking good so far, except it is very expensive. I understand that. Just keep in mind, that's the price for cutting edge technology, at least in the beginning. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and that platform formerly known as Twitter. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.